All right, here we are in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and over to the store, we have a new weapon. New bundle. Uh, has a blueprint for the XM4. Got a skin there, which I don't really like the skin that much. But you also have a blueprint for the ray gun. A blueprint for the shotgun, the Marine SP. A pretty funny emote here. Which it doesn't play the whole thing here. I'll show it to you later on. Weapon charm. You get a spray. Loading screen. Large decal. And then some gobble gum for, uh, for zombies. Which, you know, I don't really... I'm not a huge fan of round-based zombies. But if you are, uh, Perkaholic is a pretty cool one. Go over, over to the weapon here. The main weapon. It's for the XM4. Of course, the XM4 is the most overpowered weapon in the entire freaking game. <laughs> You know, it's like you go up against somebody with an XM4, even if you have something completely tricked out, you're probably going to die. So we got a tracer on this and a death effect, which is pretty cool. You know, if you like that kind of stuff. I know some people don't. You can do the inspect preview, which I don't think anyone ever does this in the game, but you can do that if you want. Then he taps it, it goes back in, and it comes back to their original size. So I think it looks I think it looks pretty cool overall. It's also a mastercraft, so that means if I change a part on this, it's still gonna look the same. Right yeah, which is a problem you're gonna have with some of your blueprints that you buy. And if you if you like this one here, for example, this is not uh, Mastercraft. So if I change something on this, um, it's gonna change the look. Like I said, I don't really care for the skin that much. But uh, I do like the weapon, just because it's kind of silly, and that's funny to me. So let's go and buy this thing. What do you say? Confirm purchase, 24 hundo. Boom. Purchase. Awesome. So now we have it. Owned, baby. Let's go um, in the multiplayer. And check our loadout, and we'll set up a loadout here. Yeah, let's just do a new one. I love how it always gives your loadouts custom loadout one. It just, <laughs> I mean, yes, I know I can change the name, but why would I bother when I'm just going to reset my level pretty soon anyway? Custom loadout. And it's for the XM4. Again, the most overpowered weapon in the game. Here it is. Looks pretty sweet, I think. So it comes with five attachments, so it's going to work even if you're not up to... Uh, Level 33, and you get your wild card, your gunfighter wild card. Now, generally, I would use these weapons without changing them at all. Uh, you know, the first time at least. But I gotta have a sight, so I gotta put a sight on here. I'm not a fan of iron sights. Uh, I like a 3x for this. Not that one, though. After that one. Okay. So it still looks cool. Uh, so it is Mastercraft, at least these parts are here. So that means if I change the barrel, which I don't like this barrel, it says a headshot multiplier, but it doesn't really multiply it that much. If you press your right trigger, I'm on Xbox by the way, you can see the, the difference that each part makes. So if you look at the headshots, if I go over here, you can see the damage, stuff like that, and what changes and what doesn't change. So, looks like about 7%. Right You're getting about 7% more with the CHF barrel, right but you're much better off with either the long barrel or the reinforced barrel on basically everything. You know, it just depends on what you, what you like. Um, I personally like the reinforced barrel, again, on everything, because it gives you damage range and bullet velocity, whereas you get a little more range on your long barrel. Again, you can look at that. If you look down where it says damage at effective range, you can see the difference as I switch between these here. It's not that big of a difference, and I think the higher velocity uh, of the weapon is worth it. So my point is that uh, with the master craft, I can change this barrel to a reinforced barrel, and the look stays the same, right? much better with a balanced stock, especially if you like to run around. 
so we can switch that and it's not going to change. Now from a foregrip, that does change, okay? Because it's not master craft in that uh, part. So vertical foregrip is fine, but you're much better with a precision. Or if you're, if you like a launcher, you know, if you want to add a little firepower to it. Um, you know, some people love launching a high explosive right to your chest. It is an effective way to uh, break into areas, but we'll leave it on vertical foregrip for now. Uh, one problem I'm going to have is the extended mag 3. You know, I really wish this part was Mastercraft 2, but it's not, unfortunately. 100 is just way too much. So if we take that down, it does change the look of the gun a bit. Uh, but handling and mobility go way up. Right, because this is going to take so long to aim down sight and to reload that you're much better off, in my opinion, with either one or two. But we'll leave it like this for uh, our first foray, I guess. Uh, make sure our foregrip is on there. And I have the wild card attached. So I always like to put the FMJs because they give you more penetration damage. And this game here specifically has so many areas where you can penetrate, you know, shoot through walls and barriers that uh, that's the absolute best fire mod to have. Rear grip, we can change that up. Again, it's gonna change the look. You're best off with your ergonomics or your CQB, depends on how you play. Um, either one of these is fine. Uh, since I have the auto tack sprint on, I usually like to have the sprint to fire speed. Over there, I guess, if you wanted to. There we go. I guess that kind of goes with it, I guess. Okay, so that's you know the main weapon. Now, we also got, I think we're set up okay here. Now, we also got uh, a blueprint. Here it is big boomer right there. So this one is not Mastercraft, and that means if I change anything at all here, it's going to really change the overall look. Yeah, I mean, that totally changes it there. We'll play one game here pretty quick, in just a second, but right, let's go with the zombies here. Weapons. Wonder Weapons. Oh, right here's a ray gun. That's a default skin, and then here's our Zaptastic skin that we can use for it. If you wish. I'm not gonna play zombies in this game. I've already said it in basically every video I make of Call of Duty. I'm not a fan of, of round-based uh, zombies. So let's go back here and let's play a game and check out our tracers. Or I guess we could head to the barracks first and go to customize. Emotes and sprays. And uh, I currently have this one set, which is hilarious. Unfortunately, it doesn't play you know, the entire way through. Um, you know, at the end. But we'll change one of these up here. I guess they're well done. Let's change up to one of our new emotes here. There it is. So this is the new one that we got. Juggernaut. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so we'll add that. Hopefully we'll, we'll uh, win, I guess. And then sprays, which are pretty much useless. At least for now. Um, you know, one thing I did notice, though, in the latest update, is that our emotes actually show 
to other players now. Whereas previously, if you did an emote, other players would see you just standing there. They wouldn't see you doing anything at all. So at least now, emotes are seen by other people. <laughs> Alright, we also got the operator. He's over here, Weaver. And for some reason, it's not showing up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's not showing up, but it's... Uh... <laughs> It's Weaver, but it's not there, <laughs> which again, I don't really care about the skin anyway, but uh, <laughs> when you pay for something, you kind of should get it. Um, let's try this. Let's go to store. Let's go to my bundles, go here, and then we should be able to equip it from here. Okay, that's equipped now. Let me just see. And operators. Okay, so it's showing here, but I click in here, it's not showing. So that's a bug. That's a problem. Uh, I'm on Xbox Series X, by the way, if the developers are watching. Recording in stunning 4K. Alright, guys, let's play. Um, I got. I don't actually don't want the fire range. Put the loadouts here. Let me make sure I have this set up as I want it. Yeah, we do. Okay. So let's check it out. Let's check out our. Um, Uh, what do you want to play? We'll just do find a match. We'll check out our tracer there and death effect. Alright, let's check this thing out. See if it's any good. My only concern is the... Um, that large magazine. A hundred is too much. If you... If... You like to run around, you know? It just makes it too slow. Alright, there's our weapon. Sight looks good. Looks cool. We can do this here real quick. Which no one ever does. Like, ever. Oh, someone's actually doing something. They're winning. Keep it that way. And also. That's why you don't do this in game. We've taken the lead. Stay on time. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> let's check out this weapon. See how slow it is to aim down sight? I really think that uh, extended mag one or two is more than enough. If you like to run around. You know, if you like to post up and just spray, then this mag is fine. Where is everyone? There we go. So that's gonna be weird, right? <laughs> Look at this. You get electricity right in your face. Your time is up, kind of cool death effect. I do wish we could tone down the uh The electricity I'm getting in my face there. Look at that. That's gonna be annoying. Gotcha. Establish watchdog helo on station above. That's what everyone always does. They try to go around in a circle. Whenever you get point blank. You thought I was an easy target! <laughs> Let him spring mine! How 
long to reload. Yeah, un <laughs> unacceptably long. Yeah, you're much better to have the uh, extended mag. Either one or two. If you like to play like I do, which is more of a run around. XM4 as well. As I said, the XM4 is the most. XM4 is the most overpowered weapon. <laughs> Got cans laying everywhere. I don't know how that happened. Seems like I had him get the right there. But all right, if you say so. Well, he's dead now. Sam, tear it up. Expect him. Where are you going? I have three people. Riot man, I tell you what, man. I tell you what, that electric. See that? It took so long to reload. I'm sitting there reloading like a fool, getting shot in the face. But that... That electricity in your face... is a problem. <laughs> so you either have to get used to you either have to get used to it or just not use this skin. <laughs> Hold the line, Crimson. This is ours to lose. In those situations when you have two people shooting at you, you really just have to take one and go with it. And know you're gonna die. We got two infiltrators? Boom! That's right. This is my prison. <laughs> my prison. So we won that one. Now we'll try out the uh, the shotgun. But I don't want to use the shotgun on a large map. Um, we'll do this here. There we go. So now we'll get a small map for sure. And make sure I have this set up. Big boomer, there it is. 
Um, well, I guess we'll leave it like it is. Uh, the fire mods on here. I don't think I have Dragon's Breath yet. No, I don't have it yet. I'll, be, I'll get it right here in the Battle Pass here. Uh, classified. But it'll probably, this guy either going to give us Stakeout or, um, what is it? Uh, the other smaller, new, yeah, Warhead. Whatever it's called. Okay. Well, I was hoping for stake up, but I guess this will this will work. I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's just use. Um, we'll use the XM4 again because this map is much better for uh, the XM4 than it is for a shotgun. Skin. Took out their shot. Penetration, baby. Yes, Bravo, the gun way. does look awesome. But again, I would really change that mag. Objective capture brought control of I should have done that actually, but I forgot. Impact out here B. Secure it, Charlie. Why'd you shoot me? There's someone else over in the freaking corner. <laughs> Comes for me. Charlie, lock down. It's slowing me down, man. But cool death effect for sure. We did a reload. Reload takes four and a half years. Let's do this. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with two, but one is actually probably fine. Let's do that. Now, of course. Now, unfortunately, we kind of lose some of the look. But, uh, this is a little faster. You've fallen behind. Well, yeah, I know we've fallen behind because I'm doing 15 different things at once here. Losing A. Losing B. Locking it down. Keep them off me. Took out their shot shooter. We got the lead. Now yeah, reload is much faster now. Body dropped. Oh, come on, come on. Sure. I gotta get it. You might get by with. Long gun neutralized. Taking the objective. Watch my six. Charlie. Uh oh. Got you anyway. <laughs> Lose it, Steve. Well, that, electric, Lose it, that 
lightning in your face is so Take weird. It does have a cool death attack. Enemies down. You know what? Let's do this. <laughs> I keep doing this. Mag two. It's not bad. It's a little slower, but uh... got you anyway. Yeah, you know what? I think 60 is the uh, sweet spot. If you play like I do. Let's move. Take it deep. Couple comes everywhere. Language, language. This is my house. Little magma tracer the death effect is pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We can do our thing. Uh, it's this one, the top one. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in the winner's circle, you don't have enough time to play the whole thing out. We got a glitch here? Probably. Whatever. There we go. Give me stake out. I want to try the shotgun. What would be cool if they would do in the future is allow us to split things out, you know, by just what we want. Uh, they do that in Battlefield for some things anyway. For some things. All right. Let's try out this big boomer. What is it called? Yes, big boomer. I have not modified this at all. Face off kill order. Remind those of course it's face off. With. Had to be face off. Whoa! One by. It's pretty powerful as it is, but I don't like the... I don't like the four shells only. I'm not going to get a chance on that. Hostile HPT located. No better than second place. Crush those dirt bags. Crouch and then just Enemy walk. With your barrel pointed up. Boom. Boom. Oh, that one. But it's pretty. That's a kill. Run. 
<laughs> I gotta run. I gotta change. Um, an attachment here. We took out their HVT. All right, crouch down. Let's go. HVT is taking fire. Keep the package safe. Where? Hostile are HVT located. All right. I don't really do a whole lot of. I don't do a lot of aiming down sight with the shotgun. In fact, I never use shotguns unless it's in a stakeout. Shells I didn't find. Enemy HPC on site. Take them out. HPC under fire. Repeat. HPC under fire. Top of shooter. Enemy mine. Our Front. HPC has been eliminated. We took out their HPC. Hostile HPC located. Confirming kill. Friendly HPC on site. Keep them safe. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of that too. I knocked him anyway. I got him? Good. Yeah, boy. main weapons. Now we'll leave that and we'll check it out in the theater. Go to Warhead first. Alright, let's switch our camera. They're watching me like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna pause it here. I wanna try to see some of these. Then I get him. It doesn't really show the death effect as much here in uh, 
in the theater. That's what I was hoping it would show. Here we go. There's a little glitch in the uh, in the free camera. There we go. So there it is. You can see the gobble gums. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. So it looks cool. Get that out of the way. Take a look at the skin there. You can hide all that stuff if you want. This is a good way if you want to get some uh, screenshots or something. Fast forward here. There we go. Now we can get our free camera out. There we go. Look at that. Shot in the back with gobble gum. <laughs> Little Caesars guy. Now, I tried to get that Little Caesars skin. Uh, but the codes you get don't guarantee you that skin. Right, You're more likely to just to get some double XP. Gobble gums everywhere here. You know, again, uh, the skin's fine. It's just not... Uh, my favorite in the world. He's got keys here. Double tap root beer. Whoa. Pack a punch key. Boy, these controls are squirrely, man. I'm trying to read these patches and things. Tape effects. There we go. Got him there. I want to see the, uh, she's not showing the cans are dropping though in the theater for some reason. Now, for some reason, I'm just standing there doing nothing. Oh, that's probably when I was, that was when I was changing my mag, right? Is this they have it too that look pretty cool we go to back to me if I can find myself here there I am yeah see I changed the mag there Totally changes the look of the weapon. Now I'm on a different person again. For some reason, it's saying that's me, which it's not. <laughs> so, that's not me. That's also not me. That's not me. Not me. All right, so this is glitching out, which happens. But we saw that. Let's check out the shotgun here. Let's go to stakeout, and we'll see what the tracers, uh, the death effect looks like with the shotgun. All right, now we're going, we're going to fast forward. So the thing is, whoa, let's go back, back, back. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Now we got free camera. Okay. Let's see this here. The, con 
controls are swirling that way. There we go. Now we're firing. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like, uh, <laughs> looks like you're shooting candy at people. Let's turn the camera around. One shot, they're gone. It's not showing the cans for some reason. It is showing the gobble gums, but it's not showing the cans. So it looks cool. You know? You know the skin looks, you know, it's fine, but... Here we go. Somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Whoop. You gotta. There we go. You gotta hit that <laughs> free camera while the game is playing. Otherwise, you can't move it around in pause. Oh, that's where he hit me there. Got you right there, I think. Let's see. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like you're shooting Skittles at people, really. That's what it looks like. Gonna pause it just at the right freaking time. There we go. Now we got a good shot here. Look at that one. Let's get rid of that stuff. That looks pretty cool. Gotta get it just right. There we go. I'm using the Elite controller, so I don't have the uh, take a screenshot button, so I got to use the menu, which is kind of stupid. I mean, it's an Elite controller. Put an extra button on there, will you? Don't make me program one. That's a pretty cool shot. I can make a screenshot out of that for a YouTube thumbnail or something. Just gotta get it just right. These controls are squirrely, man. That one looks pretty cool, though. You see the tracers up here? <laughs> but it sure is a good thing they didn't allow us to use our modern warfare three skins in the. Black Ops 6, isn't it? Because, boy, this sure is realistic. And they took them hostage. <laughs> and I'm running over here for some reason. Sliding. Boom. Again. Look at that shot, folks. That's just... <laughs> If had a little bit better lighting, it'd be perfect. Okay, I think we can work with this one. That might be a cool thumbnail for live streaming or something. Okay. That's a good one, too. Close up. Whoa, jeez, man, these... Controls. I'm trying to read this thing here. Does that say 25 cents? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, 
All right, so I think we saw this. Tracers look cool. Death effect looks cool. The only problem with this weapon, the way it's set up, is you just have four shells. Which is not nearly enough. Taste the rainbow, jerk. Have some Skittles in your face. Again, if we had better lighting, it'd be a cool shot, but lighting stinks there. Eh, I'll grab it. Why not? change there we go that's where we got him match there all right so that's what it looks like uh, that's what ever you know ever that's what everyone else sees that's what your opponents see so what i would do with that personally is unfortunately we'd have to come in here and uh i guess we'd have to switch up the quick load barrel which totally changes the look you know look at that you lose half of what you want. You know, I don't want to probably reinforce barrel. The new I Dead Mastercraft bundle here with your gumball ballistics for your XM4. An okay looking skin, you know. Not my favorite, but hey, it's not it's not the worst one I've seen. And uh, you know, blueprint for your ray gun blueprint for your shotgun which does look cool and uh, i do like the death effect i like the uh the tracers and the death effect that lightning or electricity in your face when you're firing your xm4 is a bit disconcerting at first but uh yeah you'll get used to it um it does look cool you know in my opinion anyway and your cool emote. I really just bought it for the emote because I think it's funny. <laughs> so that's it, folks. The new I Dead pack in the store. Out now. Out today. And uh, we'll end this video here. But I'm looking for... They have some funny emotes in here. But you can't buy them yet. You can buy that one already. That's the battle pass. This one is not out yet. It says purchase a bundle, but the bundle isn't out yet. Apparently. Can't seem to find it. That one we can buy. This one I have, which is... Again, it's just funny to me. Where's the shark, though? Can't buy that one yet, either. No, 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 no. This one. This is the one I want to buy next. Whatever bundle this comes with, I will buy it in five seconds. 
All right, but once again, folks, that is the new Tracer Pack I did. Mastercraft here in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Once again, we're playing here on Xbox Series X using the Aver Media Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 to record in stunning 4K. That's actually a cool decal. I should have put that on the, on the uh, weapon. All right, well, anyway, hit that like button and subscribe, folks, and that is it.